to the very first episode of this summer. You look like a freaking popsicle. Hams is dressed in a yellow shorts, red shirt. If only you had like a blue hat or something, you'd be the primary colors. I would be banana, strawberry, blueberry, smoothie. And you know she died? Who? Smoothie girl. Pinky doll? No, remember Smoothie? Smoothie girl? I'm going to drink this smoothie. She died? Yeah. Is that like one of those like vine people? That no, it was an old TikTok. She was like, and that's the smoothie. Oh, what would she say? Mm. I got to find it. You remember. Are you an OG TikToker? Mm, I don't know if I'm OG. What about as a consumer? As a consumer, I was on it pretty early, yeah, but I don't remember her. There's so many. It's been there, There's been so many of these smoothie girls, smoothie girls. This one was like none other. I got the finishing touch of my fist going in your face if y'all keep talking about me. Oh, that's not oh right. stop that's talking about her. That's stop talking about her. Touch of the smoothie. That's the finishing touch. Oh, my gosh. About to try yes, I do remember her. Oh, yes. How can anyone forget that face? Seriously. Mm, very good. This is the finish. I do remember her. Yeah. I, you know, I feel like there's a, a bunch of iterations of her throughout the years. Like a bunch of people trying to replicate her. Her, But you can't. You can't. You can't. So can't be the rest, smoothie queen. Rest in smoothie heaven. She would have. If she was still alive, she would definitely be at Coachella VIP section. Oh, yeah. Behind K Travis. Right behind Travis, Kelsey, and Taylor. And, and Barry Cohagen. Cohagen? Well... Pronounce it. How do you pronounce it? Kogan? Keegan? Keegan sounds right. That sounds familiar. It's, uh, he's Irish or Scottish or Irish oh. or something. So they have these weird ways of pronouncing names. Oh, that's why in Saltburn. Shabon. You know that name? Shabon? Uh-uh. S-I-O-B-H-N. What the hell? The one that killed me is Neve. How do you spell it? It's like K-R. Like it, they just they don't Kneef? care. They don't care. No, but it's pronounced Neve like wholeheartedly. Hmm. Hey, you all right, man? Just cuddly. We got all three pets in the pod right now, and they're all because it's summertime. It's like it's the time to cuddle. That's the best time to cuddle when things are all getting you get all hot and sweaty and bothered. Yeah, and just lick my fingers as well, bro. Come on. No, everyone else is at Coachella. We are on our Couchella. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're getting really witty these days. I try. I'm just trying to keep things bright, and I mean, because we're inside right now, we're really sad because we wish we were there. But hey. We'll, we'll make do. It's just the invite. We're waiting for the invite and we'll completely Why and didn't up. we get an invite? Because I think we have to show that we are capable of putting that shit on. And we have not really shown that. We don't really have Coachella, Coachella fits. Is about. That's the, that's the dichotomy of it. It's like show, but also show what you got on. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And show what you, you, you what God what your made, mama you. made you. Made you, yeah. What's Her mama. mama. Depending on who you want to give credit. But yeah, like I, if I was, I'll tell you my fit. So it's a desert vibe. So I would come in with Doom. desert. Oh, I'm doomed out. Yeah. Wow. Why didn't more people do that? Wow. Oh, it's not a desert. It is a desert, right? No. -uh. Oh, it's a valley. Desert. It's on like a field, the grass. The I grass. saw some people just like wearing cowboy boots and hats and stuff. Western vibe. The Vinky guys would say it's on the grassy. But the grassy. Like, but like the show, the grass. Um. No, I would come in with full army boots. You're thinking of uh burn. I would come in with a push icedy. Push icedy. Oh, like a ski mask? Yeah, but I'd make a deserty kind of vibe, so more tattered. Okay. Dirty. I'd roll around in th in the dirt a little bit just to kind of get the aesthetics going. Got it. And I'd position myself right behind Barry Kogan. Barry Kogan. Not a lot of sightings though. They have to they I think they paid him to be there. Really? Yeah, they paid him in gold coins. <laughs> <laughs> in doubloons. <the> <laughs> they paid him with doubloons. <laughs> Barry Kogan, we need you at Coachella. <laughs> I've got a mighty, what is that? A mighty sack of doubloons. A little, a little sack of quids. <laughs> a little sack of doubloons is your name. You know him. he's dating Sabrina Carpenter? Unfortunately. Who for me spawned out of nowhere and this is sounding insane. You were telling, dude, so I feel funny. like this weird outcast that doesn't so know funny. where she came from, nothing. No, we were eating something yesterday with, with someone else as well and it goes quiet because the food's good. Everyone's munching and a minute martin's like are you guys so what's sabrina carpenter like do you guys listen because i don't know in a, in a table full of men like grown adults you can't I, it's insane i feel like i'm i feel like i i feel like it's a dream and and it, it's like it's like a prank i'm being pranked like a oh. random person just came out of nowhere 
and is like a huge artist. All these clips floating around of her saying, I'm inside your Coachella or, or whatever her little gags and goofs are. But oh, and I'm so like, good to oh, this is my acapella out here in Coachella, Coachella. something like that. And is and, and it always gets like so sexual. Like Rihanna, the last bar. no umbrella. And his dick was big. It was hella. And it's like, what the and hell? Yeah. And I just funny? like, I'm not understanding. It's not, I have, this is not even hate or anything. I am, you know, she seems like she's a good singer. I That's all I know songs. is that she's very talented. Yeah. So, but it's songs. almost like a prank with how she kind of came in. Like, I, I feel like I'm this, I'm being pranked, but it's okay. Yeah. Even the Barry Cohagen matchup. Yeah. It's <laughs> very like. Like orchestra, at his, yeah, at his peak, it's like, all right, we got you with him. Like, who Barry's like, Barry's like, I really want to live like a celebrity. Like, what do I do? Okay, we have Sabrina Carp. Who can we match him up with? Sabrina, okay, Sabrina, go I with him. I was imagining the other Barry. You're gonna have to leave your wife and leave your kid, but go with <laughs> Sabrina because we can take you higher. And you would pull that move probably as well. Would you leave Mandy and all the in these critters? I do the actually opposite. I go. I would say like Mandy. Okay, we got to spice things up. We got to make sure that we, you know we become celebrities. So Mandy go with this person oh. and then I go with someone just for PR and then we get back together later on. And that would actually go viral. Oh my God, they rekindled their love. Yeah, Everyone yeah. wants to see celebrities go back to their exes. That's like their number one thing. Because you showed us, you already showed us what, you know, a time of your life and when it'll exist. Some people still think, you know, once you date someone as a celebrity, it's forever, whether you mm. break up or not, because someone will come across Oh my God! What Ben Affleck and Anna Darmus? Oh, that's cute. Mm. No, it was ten years ago. Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. I can. No, I so I have so that. many celebrities in my head, or just like influencers that I wish went back together. Like who? Come on, there's a classic, and you probably don't even know. I'm about to put you on. Alyssa Violet. No, Savannah Montano and her ex boyfriend Jay. Do you remember them? This is my Sabrina Garbinter. This is this early. Is this real. is early. You don't even know. And I know y'all know. And whoever's listening, y'all know. That was a power couple, power duo. He was actually Smoothie as well. He was a Smoothie King. <laughs> that was his thing. Smoothie? Yeah. What is he from? Vine? Vine. Vine is sort of like early Instagram when it's like everyone was just romanticizing their lives. Mm. Like really early on. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't there. You're showing your age. Am I sure my age? I don't think so. I think even like the youngest people know. I'm pretty young. Or it's okay to miss out on things. Like you don't have to be like it doesn't have to be just because you're. I'm there. I'm there for every everything significant. No, I'm there's there things for. that brush past you. Sabrina Carpenter brushed past me. I never caught a glimpse of it. You. There's other things that probably skip past you as well. I just can't really name them, but. You know, it's funny. There's things that I, I'm I'm starting to intentionally miss out on things because I'm like. Hmm. Like, I'm too much storage in your brain. Yeah. Like the like re I saw. I keep seeing this like meme that I'm just not gonna look into because I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna save that real estate. It's like this mm -hmm. glycine <laughs> industrial glycine. Do you know that one? I don't know. It sounds like some crazy terminology. I'm not aware of. But have you seen it on TikTok? No. Well, many listeners will know it, but I'm seeing it. I'm like, I don't feel left out. Right now, I don't, because mm -hmm. this is dumb as hell, and mm -hmm. I'm good. Um, and maybe that's just what this is, growing old. and Yeah, I don't get FOMO much anymore. I used to get FOMO on things, like missing out on maybe some memes here and there, or really? like whatever. Like, But now I'm like, you know what? Y'all have fun at Coachella. Seems like a blast. Wow. Yeah. That's growth. That's okay. I can hang here. Hold it down. This is my cella. Mm. Our cella. What Our is cella. That? What is that thing that goes around? I don't know. Our cella. We would tear it up, though. We'll throw our own Coachella in Toronto. So d does your opinion change about... Did we talk about this on the podcast, or was it just between us when you were like, Coachella is only for celebrities? Well, no, I said Coachella is the best place to see a celebrity. No, there's an old conversation mm. when you were like, normal people don't go to Coachella. Oh, they don't. Well, they. Pro I mean, most people... And if you do, you're just wasting your money. Why is that? Oh. Well, it's just really expensive. I'm pretty sure the tickets are insanely high. If you're just a regular schmegular. But if you get invited. So do you think civilians are going? There's definitely civilians that are going that just are, I don't know, maybe not prioritizing. Like maybe put that in towards in a new house maybe. Oh, yeah. Or something. Like save some money. But It's very, ch you know, their priorities are very different over there. Air Wand, Botox. Mm, but there's people coming from all around the world to go there. Yeah. If you're from Canada and you're going to Coachella... 
Oh, maybe you're focus like on that? yeah. Maybe focus on spending your money elsewhere. Maybe start saving. We have an FHSA in Canada. Program. That's pretty cool. HFSA for uh, for a home, RSP, you know, whatever. Invest in your local yeah. economy. That's very important. That should be cool. I was saying, like, you know, <laughs> is it the glycine in your brain? Rat, <laughs> rat, oh, ah, glitch, malfunction, storage oh, full, and no, capacity storage. <laughs> That was the last <laughs> thing about I had. I spent it on glasses. Oh. oh, come on. You got to be on Do Not Disturb. Oh, I'm so sorry. Mommy? <laughs> it's actually my mom, not Mandy. <laughs> well, you don't want to answer mommy? No. You have Mandy saved as mommy? No, Mandy is Mandy. <laughs> and mommy is who? Mommy, my mom. My mother, the one who gave birth to me. Birth giver? You should make that your... That'll be Caretaker. Really Caretaker, birth giver, who gave me birth? I was telling, yeah, I was saying that there's always an influencer dropping an item and uh, the product. What if they dropped a freaking 15 minute city? You know, whoa, that would be cool. Oh, I would totally live in for bringing Barry Coganville. Yeah, right. Yeah, that'd be dope. Yeah, if you could, but he, and he gets to pick his own like currency, like they use doubloons. <laughs> He would. He would. Sabrina Carpenterville. Uh, Everyone's a carpenter. <laughs> he would straight face the doubloon joke so hard. Like if you said something like, "No, nah, he'd laugh." He uh, seems like uh, a lad. He, he seems like a lad. Hate it. So he seems like an asshole. Don't say that. He does everything I see of him. Smug little freaking. He okay. Yes, his Coachella fit did look like he was taking a trip to Ibiza, but I didn't see it. Ibiza. He was. It looks like he was going to Magaluf with the boys, with the lads. Oh, and that's part of their culture. He was wearing like Burberry shorts with like Burberry dress shirt. Barry, Co Burberry Kogan. Oh my God! Was that it? No, I'm just being witty again. Damn it! Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being witty. <laughs> He's 31. How do we feel about that one? Whoa! That's ah, okay. We got. We can't really talk shit. We got Drake in our freaking city dropping diss tracks, and he's like 40. He's 31 and he wears. You heard it though, right? Metro Boom and sit down and make some drums. That's what he said. I did. Oh, yeah. This is tough. I like this. I would have pantsed him though. Is that, that what you would do at Coachella? Just run up to celebrities I and pants, pants them? Barry, Barry, Barry needs to be pants on these. Too much. He's been pants a lot. By Mrs. That's why now he's like, this is him living his best life now. He worked mm -hmm. super hard. He was probably relentlessly bullied when he was younger, getting pants, and now he's getting to enjoy the... Come on, seriously? He's at Coachella with all his f celebrity friends. Sabrina Carpenter. Come on. He escaped his old life in with the new. You mean his wife and kid? That's boring. No one cares about that stuff. Come on. Let's wow. live it up at Coachella. We're only young once. Really? We're only 31 once. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. He'll come to his Boy, senses soon. He need, to, he need to focus on his Gerber baby <laughs> plan for his son. <laughs> he need to put money toward his tuition, bro. Uh, Not them Burberry freaking Jinkos. <laughs> <laughs> what's the what's the lyric? Burberry, <laughs> Burberry trench. Stepping on with the Burberry trench. Nicki Minaj. Burberry he came from Ireland. He had a sit. No, I keep going into that flow. Dublin. What's yeah, the Sabrina like outro flow on her song? <laughs> I keep doing yeah, that's it. <laughs> I keep what doing is that? Peaches I'm not out, peaches out in Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> What's Sabrina's flow? Okay. All right. It's like such an awful flow. That's why I can't do it. I'm here with my husband Barry. That's it. That's that's, that's, that's his old hometown was Drury Lane. Drury Lane. Where the baker was. I gotta find her Singapore, Singapore outro, just so we get the flow down. Mm. That's what I'm telling you. It's oh, she has that in her. She has always these outros. There's a bar that's like Jesus Christ, Jesus mm. Christ. Came five times, but I think I need one more. I'm not even I'm saying the greatest. that. What'd she say? You're the greatest night I've had Singapore. She said she came five times on stage. She needs one more. She needs one more. Barry, come on. Barry, go, go, go. So with this flow, Barry, he came in with them big shorts. 
<laughs> Gave him ten doubloons to be my boy. Left his wife and kids. Oh no, no. We at Coachella with his bro bros. You have to do something with his hometown, Dublin. Oh. Or something. Dublin or Barry came from Dublin, yeah, he smells like cheese. He be in it up like a limousine. You're doing it wrong. Dublin has to be the final rhyme. Look, come on. How do I know more about Sabrina Carpenter than you do? Because you do. It's not how, it's when. When did this happen to you? Where's Martin? I, I got all this knowledge out of nowhere. <laughs> all right, hit the flow then. All right, all right. I'm dating a man from Dublin. Oh, wait, that was never mind. You just said it's <laughs> at the end. What rhymes with Dublin? It's like orange, man. I can't. But that's what, because it's never right. It's, oh, no. I don't know. And uh, yeah, and I want to go to the peaches out in Georgia. I think she, I think her and Justin Bieber need to have a sit down and talk. Did wise. you see the Justin Bieber? This is the most like freaking celebrity freaking gossip TMZ. pop crave ass <laughs> podcast. Did you see the um, Justin Bieber and... This sounds like I'm. Oh, Jaden Smith. Yeah. Oh, like kissing and loving on each other. Yeah. Yes, I did see that, and I thought, hey, I what's thinking, wrong with this? Yeah. What if they caught us doing when one of those, and everyone's yeah. gonna come to assumption? Because like that's the worst. Is like we do it, but then it's like then when someone films it, then it makes it look weird. But we just do it because we got, like we're friends, and that's yeah. how we greet each other. When you're paying that bill, I am. Yeah. Doing the backwards hug without yeah. a doubt. No, and and this is like crazy because like it's not just for, you know, pop stars and stuff. Rappers do it a lot as well. Really? Yeah, it's not like it's not like soft to do that. I don't know why people think it's like super gay. People think it's gay. It's not gay at all. You said it in the word. Yeah. No, it's it's rappers do it too. It's Many like cultures. Young it's Thug, like his whole thing with his with his with his um crew, little baby and all them, they do a handshake and then they'd lean in and, and they would give young thug a, a kiss on the cheek. Kind of like mafia. In Arab countries, that is normal. Mm -hmm. So more of that, more of that, more kissing, hugging. We need that. More love in this world, seriously. Yeah, I would have sucked me too. Hey, I would. What did Nelly Chapa say? And Nelly Chapa, yes, probably does that as well. Whoa! Sound like a big fart. I don't know if it picked up. No, my upstairs neighbor is crazy. Upstairs neighbor activity. Every every day, every day. You're witty, man. You're a witty guy. Thanks. I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna tone it down a little bit. The wit? Well, just a little bit. I feel like I've been on a streak these past few days, and it's like I feel like I'm setting myself up for some big failure. Oh, like you're like people are gonna expect too much from you, and then yeah, you're not gonna provide. I'm not, I'm, I'm witty, but hey, I like, I can be normal too. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna humble myself a little bit. Let's keep going with this pop crave vibe. What else? I is like it. It's like this is the time. Is April Coachella really all this stuff rolling loud? All that whatever. Else. We're seeing celebrities emerge. The hibernation is over. Winter. Now we're seeing them pop out. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see you because there's a couple more days left, right? Or I think wait, it's two weekends. It's like a Saturday, Sunday, and then oh, Saturday. who's gonna come on the second weekend? Friday to Sunday. I remember last time was Frank Ocean's big disaster. Is he going to come back and redeem himself? I hope not. I hate Frank Ocean. Seriously? Yeah, you know why? Why? I was one of the ice skaters. What? Yeah, he had us practice this routine for months for his Coachella show. And there was an ice skating rink for his whole segment while he's up. Last five minutes before it, he said, melt it. Melt it. And we're like, that's not how it works. He said, melt it. So we all got on the floor, just torches, you know, the whole thing. Lighters, anything you could really find. Damn. And so and so the entire stage had to be melted. You guys couldn't perform your routine. So what'd you do? Packed up your skates? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Sim put, simply, I'm glad we can laugh about put, it now. I'm glad like, you're, you're able to laugh yeah, about it now. But I, that's like I, traumatizing. Hindsight. Look, I got some other, you know, pity gigs. You know, a lot of people felt bad. Yeah, around. children's birthday parties and whatever. Yeah, I was on Disney on Ice for like an internship or, you know. Something. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's where you, a lot of people get started. Yeah, it was goofy. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but. It was goofy? You were goofy? I was goofy. So you had to do like that. You had to dress up as goofy with the whole like snout thing. You know those people on the internet? And like, I feel like it's like a deep like 4chan lore thing where they like, those people who like 
dress up as Goofy and identify as Goofy and stuff. Have you seen that? Like furries? No, no. It's like, uh, it was like this weird, like, I just kept seeing images of it or something where it's like people would like plastically like. Oh. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, not the whole thing. Not a whole head. Well, just I don't like know. the nose. Just like the nose or oh, something. Oh, but it's eerily human at the same time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have. Have seen you seen those images? Yeah, it's always very sexual as well. Yeah. Or I don't know. Yeah. There's like sexual ones. You and press play. You're looking at the thumbnail of the video. You press play. Oh, God. It's not good. Oh, God. It's always in some, like... It's always something room. where it's, like, you're scrolling through Twitter or X or whatever it's called, and that I feel like an image like that would just pop up on your feed and be, like, this man killed, like, six kids. It's always, like, some made-up, like, headline with that picture of Goofy. Isn't it crazy the friction... it, The unfrictious, unfrictionless transition it's been from Twitter to X? Like, no, people just... Mm -hmm. It's not even out of protest it's just it does it still doesn't feel right man i don't know what mm -hmm. to tell you yeah and he'll like swear by it that he's it's like the best decision he's ever made yeah i'm not calling it oh i deleted it. i haven't i don't i i have not used it for months except this past week for whatever reason the pop crave i just saw it in my like it's in my like app thing when you swipe all the way right on your thing it's like in there mm. i was like oh my god x like let me go on it and i my algorithm fixed itself, so I'm not seeing, like, AI-generated images of Elon anymore. Mm. Now, it's, like, made-up news stories or or uh, fights, high school fights. That's what it is. It will really just pick up on those first few things that you engage with and be mm. like, here you go, here you go. Like it, it's all, by all means, a terrible, like, algorithm. Who saw that one video of the girl in the wheelchair fighting? Maybe, maybe they did. Remember maybe I showed they, you that? Yeah, that was, was crazy. It was insane. <laughs> Why was she fighting a girl in the, out of a her wheelchair? A girl in a wheelchair, like hot, a quadriplegic, just getting beat up. I'm yeah. like, you don't need to see this right now, bro. Nah, but once she got a hold of the girl's hair. Oh, she got her back? A little bit, yeah. Was one of her plegics, like, m moving? Yeah. She wasn't quadriplegic. Maybe Tetra? Or That's one up. What's what's three? Tetra? Triplegic. Triplegic. Yeah, for me, it was, um, you know, I def definitely <coughs> engaged in some, like, 18 plus content and um <laughs> <laughs> it's common were it's you one of those people where you would just scroll and it says like it would just show me a sex gif and it would be like <laughs> liked by <laughs> no not like the mood like the mood was dude i was i remember distinctly in high school like i would just follow like because back in high school when twitter was a thing and everyone was using it obviously everyone in their school for, for whatever reason would just follow I each other there for that man i would just see some dude like in my freaking like my followers just engaging with like sexual gifts and, and stuff yeah the get i know there's nothing subliminal i mean look it was definitely just on a, a, a burner um it wasn't the sole purpose of it, but tr it, it definitely made it. Like, the freaking For You was just, like, absurd. Oh, then your whole algorithm changed. I was like, oh, I can't use this anymore. This is crazy. Yeah, and you want it, it in small doses. Yeah. yeah, I want it when I need it. And then it becomes, oh, this is all it's for now. Is that? Mm. And I'm like, what the hell? I got an app for this? Oh, yeah. And I just deleted it. Like, I haven't had it. Crypto for and yeah. sex, bro. That's all. And then, and then the worst part is... Is it would actually be a fight, like, in between it. Yeah. So, it would go from... It would activate every part of your brain. <laughs> the word, like, the... The hippocampus, <laughs> the freaking everything getting activated. The hippocampus, bro. <laughs> like, it would go from just booty, and then just, like, someone getting their booty beat, like, physically. Yeah, bro. yeah. And then, like, gore, and, and then just, like... Some or you get the crazy ones where they combine... Oh, oh, where man. it's like, Martin, not nah, what? No, I no, I'm not even joking. I remember a couple years what? ago, I saw this one wait, and wait, it's ingrained in my head. Wait, they were you no, it, say it. Let no, it's fine, this. it's fine. They were just they were doing their thing, doing their thing in and out, in and out. And um, someone walks in and starts beating up the person who was <laughs> having sex with their girl. Okay, so it's not gore, it's just no, no, no. Fight. Oh, yeah, not the gore part. Well, there's other websites that probably have that, but. Why? Why would you say that? <laughs> well, there is. There's just to let people know if they're curious. There are some freaks who watch us, probably who would. I I think we're pretty tame here. But yeah, no, and and yeah, after after my little week of of using X again, Twitter again, I gotta I gotta I gotta leave. I'm sorry. Like it's just it's so hard. Yeah, but it's okay. There's other apps, and you know wh what's what's popping right now. Nothing. It's all TikTok and TikTok. Yik sucks. Yak. Anyone using Yik Yak still? No, I don't never heard of See, that. One. Oh my god! I'm on Monkey, bro. Is that the one that Aiden Ross uses? 
Yeah, I'm on Ubo. Ubo. I'm also the Ubo brand deal. Uh, really? Uh, what are you supposed to do for that? Just like hop on and just and show how fun it? it is. Show how fun it is to talk to miners from Atlanta or whatever. Remember my brand deal I got reached out to for that one app? <laughs> Which app? I got reached out to by this app, and I had to I had to like sh- screen record and like show how fun the app is and and everything. But all I did was just put my face on the camera. Like, you're supposed to go out and find friends. I was just in the home lobby of where it's just me. <laughs> and I was like, wow, this app is so fun. And it was just me sitting there in silence. It was insane. Is it still up? No, I, I he didn't let me post it. What can you, you can say the name of the app? I don't remember the app name. It was... Uh, it was uh, like House Party? No, 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 no. It was awful. It was something, like, really not... It would never took off. But, um, but the guy emailed me back, and he said, hey, man, like, I appreciate the, like, effort, but, like, we're supposed to actually show that the app is, like, fun. <laughs> <laughs> but you're like, bro, please, I need this $80. Like, come on. I didn't think it was 80 honestly. Jeez. Early days, but that's okay. Take anything you can get. Yeah. My first ever, yeah, promotion was for a, sound, a song, and I got paid tw- $25. <laughs> <laughs> and I and he was like, yeah, and put hashtag ad and put hashtag all that. I'm like, look, I don't want to put that. So can you make it 20? And I just won't put it. He's like, okay. Wow. <laughs> Craziest part, song went viral. It made his career. I'm not joking. You come back to him? Hey, can I have a little bit more? <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not, it made his career. And it was the, an awful TikTok that I made. Dude, you got to say who it is, man. Young Martyr. It's like this super neat. Young Martyr. My murder? Am I, am I supposed right? to? Am I supposed to be s- jumping up and down screaming? You, know you made Ma- Young Martyr, dude. Young Martyr. I just by the name, I'm gonna be judging he him right sucks. now. It sucks. It sucks. His music sucks. But um, what he's like popping right now? He's that on song, yeah, Coachella. That song got like 50 million. Like literally because of me. Because Zarbra followed me. Zarbra made a thirst trap. Right? Mine popped. Zarbra mm-hmm. saw it. He made a thirst trap to it. Made a whole thirst trap trend. Yeah, Ooh. when Zarbra makes a thirst trap to a song, it's it's over. Well, you don't know him. You didn't know him at his prime. I did know him. Trust me, I knew him well. Too well. We all got to know him a little too well one day on the X app. That's why I removed it Also, I can't keep seeing my Muches freaking Gooches, bro. True, yeah. Sometimes it hits you out of nowhere. Oh, you started doing this. Okay, interesting. I'm hungry. You're hungry? I'm starving. Whoa. My mom would always yell at me if I said starving. Really? So I'm going to yell at you. Stop! That's true. I can't be saying I'm starving because it's not true. You're not. But at, at the same time, I'm really hungry. So how do I, How? what's a better way to say it? That's why I, I'm always saying synonyms. Am I not? Peckish. Peckish. But I'll peckish is not. Peckish is like, mm, I could eat something. I'm not too hungry. So it's, but uh, starving, you're not starving. I haven't, eat, I haven't eaten breakfast. I haven't eaten lunch. I'm just hungry. That's it. I. It's hurting me. Yeah. I still love food. You know that? I saw, I see videos. I know that. I know that. I felt that. I know that from yesterday. (laughs) Yeah. All that sushi, all that freaking. We got sushi, Jamaican patties, and and boba tea. And boba, yeah. That's a crazy. Trifecta. It's a death row meal. That's what I called it. It's it's like uh, before I go. No, and what did I say? If if I was a prison guard, Mm. if I was the warden of a prison, and the death row inmate ordered Jamaican patties, sushi, and boba, I'd let them go. Yeah, because I said this man is no threat. <laughs> man, just let's enjoy what God has given us. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he kind of cooking here. This is a good couple things right here. Yeah. Right. He's in his right headspace. He's in the right mind. Let's free him. <laughs> but then I called you this morning. I'm like, okay, so let's go to summer record. You know, blah blah blah. Or you hit me with that, and then I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, what are we gonna eat? What are, what are we gonna eat? And you're like, what? Like it's time to go. Like what? what like, so we're working. What are you talking mm-hmm. about food? And I felt like my mouth, my stomach was bigger than yours. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's I wasn't match, there yet. You gotta I match that excitement. No, no. But I wasn't <laughs> there yet. I wasn't there yet. But I am there with you now. But that's the thing you don't know about fat people like me is is we are always there because even if we're not there yet, we anticipate being there. So I wasn't even. Hungry. I'm scared. I don't want to enable you. Am I enabling you? <laughs> I wasn't even hungry. I'm anticipating being hungry. That's a. Okay. That is a scary mindset to Dude, get. Dude, eventually in. you're gonna freaking anticipate, anticipate being hungry. Yeah. So careful. That happens. That um, why that wow. whenever you're <laughs> eating and you miss the food already, you're like, damn it. 
Wait, you, you're missing food while you're eating it? Like, I miss it. I'm like, man. Once it goes down your throat, you're like, I wish I could come back up and yeah. eat it again. Wow. If it's good enough. I mean, like, dang, that'd be some good food. No, for me, I'm, I'm, I've am I'm been told I'm a very slow eater. Slow and small. And I always explain to people, it's like, it's like I, I get so overwhelmed by all the flavors in my mouth. And I try to convey this and no one seems to pick up on it. But when I eat food, I genuinely like enjoy it. And I'm like, wow, this is hitting every taste bud on my tongue. This is amazing. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking. And that's why I eat so slow is because it's like, it is overwhelming for me. It's like, I don't know. Really? Yeah. It's like overstimulating. It's uh, is that if it's good, is there foods where you could put down faster? Or is it when it's really good, you have to you go slower? Well, that's the thing. It's like a double edged sword. Like when it's really bad, it's really bad. Like when it's really bad food, like I, it's like oh, I don't know if I can eat this because it's like I'm really tasting it. Mm. But when it's good, oh man. I wish I could let it. It's like how you're missing it and you're scarfing it down. Mm. I'm the opposite where it's like, I know, yeah, I'm going to miss this food. So I'm like really taking time to just enjoy it. I wish I could. I wish I could. Like th th that's the goal. Sometimes I think I'm like eating slow. I think I'm doing what you said. But if I record it and watch, I'm like, oh, no, like that was <laughs> that was crazy. That just disappeared. It's because growing up was like TikTok. Four <laughs> of, <laughs> it's like having four siblings. It's a contest every time. Yeah. So. Like genuinely, there's like one piece of meat you have fight. You're actually oh y'all were fighting f over stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so for you, it's like it's like you're scared. I'm gonna come over. I'm and grab still your in food. like prison. I'm like yeah. <laughs> I'm like post prison. No, you would. Yeah, you would do well in prison when it comes to that. You would be fighting. Oh, I'd, I'd fight. Yeah, for for like the side, like mashed potato day or something. I'm like I'll fight for mm -hmm. the sides and stuff like that. But I'm getting better. Like. Like, for the first time, very recently, I'm able to get, like, an appetizer or a side with someone else mm -hmm. and not, like, section it off right off the bat. Like a like a pre like an inmate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> like a shareable, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, if, like, six onion rings came, I'm like, all right, three for you, three for me. Yeah. And it's like, bro, what? Like, just eat when you want. It's a side. Mm -hmm. That's something new for me uh, in a, for an appetizer, like. Yeah, th I think even when it comes to food, though, there is people who are like, um, you know, more like uh, dominant and more submissive when it comes to even like sharing food and stuff. So when onion rings come to the table, you know, you yes, three for me, three for you. But, you know, there is going to be that one person who's like, oh, I want the bigger onion rings like. This. Oh, that's crazy. That That's there is people who are like that. And I'm like and I'm the one who's like, you know what? Like, yeah, I'll take the smaller one because I know that the other person's going to enjoy the like bigger scouting one. the pizza for the biggest slice. Yeah, people. Do, yeah, mm, I'm yeah. always the one who'll who'll just who'll just be like, it's fine. Like I'll just I, I know that there's these big ones, and I just preemptively assume the other person's gonna grab the yeah, big oh slice. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd be happy to give someone. Yeah, the yeah, best I'm slice. okay with that. I'd rather. Uh, like, that's kind of like a gesture, mm -hmm. but like no, but there is people who are like big slice. Thanks, bro. Me, yeah, that, that's very immature. <laughs> <laughs> Those people scare me, bro. Especially when there's more than enough to go around. It's yeah. like, wow, why are you sizing this up already? Yeah. We could just also order another one. If it's <laughs> like, if we're really this hungry, like, we could order another one. <laughs> we're grown ups now. Yeah. Like, you know, we have grown up money. We can actually do that. <laughs> so, yeah, that's very, but, but yeah, with the apps thing, like, even if someone, if we're like sharing a fry, someone will like eat a fry, I'd be like, tempted to eat one too, like, match you, like, so we're at the same pace. Yeah. Fry, yeah, stuff like fries, fry though. Fry. I'm not measuring those. That, that's crazy. Is that what you just said? I'm not counting. Uh, oh, okay, okay. No, I'm saying new. Now I'm good. Are you looking at fries saying like this is a bigger fry? Like you can have no, the I'm not. Fry? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's like the equivalent of like <laughs> someone asking you to e transfer like a dollar. They don't know about e transfer. Oh, I keep saying that as if it's common Venmo, knowledge. Venmo, 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 yeah. Venmo, yeah. Venmo a dollar, yeah. No, I don't want to do that. I'm gonna say e transfer. Oh, because of saying that is catering, catering to what Americans. Should I cater to you, Americans? That's how they sound to you. I'm anti-American. American. American? E-transfer. It's be It's a beautiful thing. That's what it is. That's what it should be their motto. Yeah, it's better. Well, pitch it to them and tell them. Oh my God! Yeah, it's just like it's just like, hey, give me your email. I'm gonna add you as a little contact in my it's phone. It's integrated in every bank. Every bank has it. No fees. You add them as a contact. Instant money. Whenever transfer. you gotta send them any money, add them. Put the money. Done. Yeah. And it's all like it's super secure, super safe. Stuff goes wrong, like money can be, you know, it's like it's because it's get bank. Scammed. Yeah, yeah. can get scammed off. It's all bank owned. Really awesome. Yeah, Venmo is like I don't even know who owns Venmo. Like the dude down your street, like PayPal, I think. 
Um, if so, to know if we have Canadian accents, you do an American accent, and then we'll see the difference. <laughs> I don't even know if I can because there's so many different dialects, isn't there? New York, right? And then you have like <laughs> Boston, New York, <laughs> New York. <laughs> what else is there? I am from New York. There's the South. There's like people uh, say that there's a Michigan accent. I don't know. Up and coming. New York. I'm from New York. Give me me and G's. Me and G's. Um, there's like Florida. Florida. Okay, go ahead. That's how it is. It's like Florida. Like Florida. You know about that? I don't know about that one. Florida. I'm from Florida. Tampa, Florida. Well, no, I've been to Florida. Oh, and the, the old people. South like Dakota that. accent. You know that what? You know. South Dakota? Mm-hmm. Is there a South Dakota? There's a... There is and a north. Wait, people live in South Dakota? There's South Dakota, North Dakota. They have their own I thought it was like one of those ones where... Wait, there's South Dakota? Mm-hmm. This is the South Dakota accent. And th- they have their own kind of like cuisine. You know, Wisconsin has cheese curds and whatnot. They're like a big green bean kind of thing. It's a lot of farming. So they would say a sentence like this. Why don't you give me some green beans? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you being serious? Is there What city is in South Dakota? Oh, it's a very, it's very small amount of people live there, but like that's the city is South Dakota. No, no, that's a state. But due to the oh. isolation, they have developed their own kind of linguistic. It's really cool. Wow, I I, I, I'm missing out on all the states in the U.S. I just don't concern myself. Like I only need to know the big ones. And Rhode Island, you know about that one? I know about Rhode Island. Yeah, South Carolina. I know about that one. West of course. Virginia. Yep, yep. Born and raised. <laughs> that's what they say. Um, Kansas, Montana, Wyoming. Montana. Now, that's Montana. one I don't hear a lot. Who lives out in Montana? French. Montana. What would Sabrina Carpenter say if she went to Montana? <laughs> I feel like I'm freaking Hannah. Oh, yeah. That, oh, damn it. You can't do that. So you just ruined it's it. there. Because I was going to say Monta- Hannah Montana. It's go ahead. Go ahead now. Don't let me stop you. I'm blonde. I feel like Hannah. I, I'm so blonde. I feel like Hannah. I'm here to perform. I'm here to give gifts like Santa. But all you kids were bad here in Montana. <laughs> and I came six times in my pants, yeah. She always, always. Some, oh, yeah, true. There's a line. There's there. always yeah, yeah, yeah. some dirty, dirty thing. I got to listen to her music, man. No, you kinda don't. Reminds me you of, don't. Kind of reminds me of that. You don't. Kind of reminds me of Chapel Roan. Like the don't eat me on the back seat of the car or whatever. That's a banger. Not 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 what she's saying. Mm. Yeah, the U.S. is very vast, and I think that's that's why it's always gonna be up. I don't think there's many countries, you know, there's no other countries that are like that. China, Russia. Well, we don't know. We don't know because I've, we've never been there. I'm so, we don't so know what it's scared like. of what I don't know. I'm. Uh, we really are not worldly people. No. In in comparison to Americans, Canadians I feel like are. I know a decent amount, but then yeah. I look at the whole, that side of the world with all of, pretty much all of Asia. You just got to look at numbers. Yeah. China's a billy or whatever. Mm-hmm. 1.3. That's like four U.S. Mm. They have like cities with over, bigger than New York mm. that you've never heard of. Dude, I talked to, no, I talked to a 10th grader from China recently, and he basically said that everybody in China lives in these, like, condo buildings. Like, full families live in, like, a condo like this. Got it. And that's just, like, the standard, because there's so many people. And you think, like, you think, like, those big cities, you're thinking of, like, big cities in China, like, I don't know, Shanghai and stuff. Yeah, but I'm not even thinking about the middle ones. Yeah, there's cities like Guangzhou. Shenzhen and stuff like that like just like a and then there's like a ton of other ones yeah Yeah. and it's like yeah he was like oh I'm from here and I'm like I've never even heard of that and it's how many people live there he's like a couple million yeah (laughs) what you mean there's more than Toronto Toronto a couple million Toronto's four million yeah that's not more than a couple million no but he was like more than that yeah so no we gotta get out there slushy noobs take over slushy noobs take over China. China I think there's a lot of money that could be made there. And then you got Russia and like Indonesia is like Indonesia same, is like the same population. Yeah, Philippines and stuff. Yeah. Man. India. What's that one celebrity from the Philippines? That's like 
I think I, I was like watching a TikTok and like she like made a cameo in it or like she was just in the background or something and everyone in the comments was like, are you kidding me? Oh my God. They it was have, like yeah. 20,000 comments and it was just like this girl from the Philippines. And it's not one that I know. No. Yeah, they have this, these like these sleeper pop stars. Yeah. But a bunch of Sabrina Carpenters. Yeah, way more, bigger yeah. and richer and, and, and hotter and everything. Because there are some countries are a little later to the pop culture stuff mm -hmm. so that they're having their Michael Jacksons now. They're having mm -hmm. their their things now and, and the, they'll actually freak out. Mm -hmm. Which is why, like, if any artist pulls up to Brazil, it's like, whoa, they show love. Uh, yeah, because, like, I mean, Brazil doesn't really have much. That's why they're always asking, come to Brazil, come to Brazil. But they There's love no one music. There. There's no one there. <laughs> Yeah, well, they <laughs> they love music and they're yeah, and they love celebrities still, and they haven't been like yeah these I don't know. I feel like yeah, people from other know. countries really love celebrities, like really love them. You know what I mean? Like they're like obsessed, probably more obsessive fans like internationally than there are in the actual home country of the celebrity. Yeah, well, because even more far removed, they seem even more alien. Yeah, like it's like K-pop to us. Whoa, that's true. Because I would be freaking shaking my boots if I saw anyone from K-pop. Because I'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like I'd be like, whoa, okay. Yeah, this is crazy. Like you're coming from really far away, <laughs> like. <laughs> so you're from far away, <laughs> J -j -j Jimin. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but probably in Korea, Koreans are like, oh my god, like I see y'all at every commercial, every like yeah. corner. Like I even, you know, I saw you on the street, bro. You know, at Seven Eleven. So it's probably exhausting. Yeah, living in, in yeah, because they don't have like an LA out there you know la it's like you just go to la you want to see a celebrity come to la you'll see them freaking whatever yeah passed out in an alleyway or something after a good night out but like in very good night out yeah at, in like korea or like japan or whatever like do they have ranch they valley ha what's that place called saddle also? ranch saddle ranch no they don't they don't and i feel bad for them they're missing out i was telling you before the podcast that taylor swift i think is the most has the most aura right now most social capital p per pound okay and 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 you're kind of conceited. I'm it? look like I, I guess so. Like just on paper, statistics wise, I just said as soon as she got with Travis Kelsey, I feel like her aura went slightly down because Travis Kelsey looks like a dude that went to my high school. Like it just looks like a regular. Sh but dude then it's who for just people like football. us that were like, okay, we could date her too. It's for uh, the people like us. Mm -hmm. mm. Who do you want her to have? The nineteen Matt Healy. No. Exactly. No, God, Harry no. Styles. I want her to have someone special who cares for her. Oh, it, it is been, Travis. It is after. That's <laughs> all you can ask for. <laughs> it would have been cool if she, like, married, like, the prince a prince or something, like, of yeah. the UK or something. But I bet she tried. You know, she gave everything a shot. Or, like, a prince of Saudi Arabia. And just, like, the king. Yeah, but I don't know if that's their type. It would literally be worth a trillion dollars. Like, no, that's their type. Is it? Would Taylor poop if they on looked the at dress? Taylor, you think they'd go like, "This is like, the, this is gonna be like my queen." Would Taylor poop on a chest for the right amount of money? Yeah, that's true. She would do anything for her money. Yeah, Damn she it. got paid to go to Coachella, so yeah. I miss when she was just a little old town girl. We went to K. We went to. I almost said K-pop. We went to karaoke and sang Taylor Swift a lot and what? sang. Unreleased Cardi and that was fun and and we sang what's that one Romeo, Romeo take me like that brought back so many good memories man that song is just unbeatable it's like the storyline there the way the chorus slightly changes towards the end to make it a good thing like if they actually end up getting married and stuff really tell me more tell me more I'm interested in your Romeo, take me somewhere we can be alone. alone. Why does she want to be with alone with him? Oh, Popper, I lose her virginity. So then she I said that. But that's that's what forever. she was dealing with at the yeah, time. Forever. Was trying to find someone to lose her virginity to. Really? Is that what it is? There's yeah. Uh, back then, because it was like that's Seriously? why I lost. That's what it was. So keep going. Next line. I'll be waiting. All there's left to do is run away from her family. It's not a good thing. No, but it's it's she's rebellious. She's rebelling against her family because they wanted to. Romeo, take me only somewhere we can go. I know you know. How does it go? I'm trying to get in a flow state. I'm trying to get in a flow. You'll be the. 
prince and, uh, of Saudi Arabia. You're right. That's what she's doing. She's trying to send a message to Saudi Arabia, to Saudi Arabian princes. Travis is just a pawn in her fucking game. You should just pull up with like a whole code style banner. Like what would <laughs> what would it say? <laughs> Make me the happiest princess alive. Yeah. And marry me. That's all we can really wish for her is just to have a good time. And I would pay maybe like forty dollars to hear Taylor Swift say, "Assalamu alaikum." She's but probably said it, like when she's visiting. Like, my like 40, my she visiting, out. has she performed in like Dubai or anything? Hello, Dubai. Um, probably. So yeah, she's definitely said it. Like Sabrina Carpenter, if she went to Dubai, would say something like that. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> like she's incorporated. Assalamu alaikum, every ah. <laughs> I mean, the peaches f- flow. <laughs> you got it. Do it. Assalamu alaikum, Dubai. Oh, yeah, I'm doing it too. I don't know. It's so <laughs> close. It's so close. She literally bit it. I'm going to, I have to, I have to check my notes. <laughs> Can you check if she's already done it? So it ends on a Assalamu alaikum everybody. I'm here with myself and my dang it. I should have thought that one through. Hello everyone, I'm Taylor Swift. I came here to give you a kiss. Not everyone, just the prince. Mm. Assalamu alaikum, let's get lit. Hey, 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 hey. You know, she needs a full makeover. I want, you know, um, she has some evil in her and I'd like to see it manifest in some sort of like Doja Cat-esque. Um, Taylor? Yeah, she hasn't pulled that uh, Joker yet. She, no. hasn't, she hasn't done that yet. That's her next thing is after, after you think she's living the American dream with her football husband, she's going to stop everything. She's going to divorce him. She's going to pull a Barry Kogan. She's going she's gonna to go full Hollywood celebrity mega mind. <laughs> What's it called? Uh... Mastermind. Mastermind. No, her baby her baby could just like I don't know. I don't want to think about that. My stomach. Taylor hurt. Swift's baby. <gasps> I don't want I really don't want to think about that. That's something that you gotta use your glycemic stuff in your brain and just I don't want to think about her baby right now. Storage is full in my brain. Capacity Storage has been reached. Saving you to iCloud. We'll re- revisit you if I have time. Because I need to like withhold like some space to like you know, for for these guys, for everyone here. I need to for the future, we have yeah. long lives to live, and we're using up all our storage on what? I'm, our brains Barry are Kogan. really fried. Yeah, they really are. My phone died yesterday, and I was really didn't know what to do with myself. Like, mm-hmm. you were here. It was like ten minutes. I was like, "This is what happens when you." I just need to hold it. We live on the internet, man. We should just disconnect again. <laughs> Let's go back to that barn. <laughs> really though, oh, I don't even know about that. I don't even know that's coming very soon. Very soon, you're going to see a, us on a barn enjoying ourselves. But let's not say too much. Let's get into what you guys have to say. If you don't know, you can actually send in your own private D- DM mm-hmm. that has a confession, a dilemma, an am I the asshole, a situation you're in, and mm-hmm. we'll chime in and see if we can solve it. And also, Patreon, if you didn't know, is me every Thursday slash Friday. That's not both days. It's either or. And I just me alone for an hour and it's a lot of fun. So go check it out. Patreon.com slash OOC pod. And one last thing, rate the podcast on everything, please. On all the, on the, what did we say? We said if it gets 10,000 ratings, stars, reviews, we will restock. I said by this episode, let's see if they hit it. And nope. (laughs) So we're going to have to vault it. We already printed all the merch. So we're just going to burn it. Send it it back. Just send it back. Exactly. Also, I will just make a, a note. If there are any remaining issues with out of character merch, because I know some emails are coming through, I hopped onto the customer support and I will be reading those emails. So if you have any issues, feel free to email. Well, we are going to tackle those. Got it. First up. Hi, Martin and Amza. I have a confession. I'm starting to find my friends boring. And I feel like we are trying too hard to keep our friendship going. For context, they are my university friends. But I graduated back in November, so now I don't see them every day like I used to. To be honest, since graduating, I've realized we are very, actually, we are actually very different. Parentheses, our morals, our values, I don't even share common interests with them. I feel like I ignored all that and only kept them around. 
this whole time because I love being part of a big friend group. Also, I'm genuinely starting to dread our monthly hangouts because I'm the only single friend of the group. So I seventh wheel sometimes. And when it's only us girlies hanging, all they talk about is their boyfriends and how they want to get married already. I'm very happy for them. I'm genu- I genuinely love seeing them in love and happy. But like, we are 22, girl. What do you mean marriage? We should be out at the club. They don't even like partying. So we can't even do that with them. First of all, those are queens for not partying with, and they have a man, right? Women should stay home, take care of the family, the dog. Sure, but I see her point, okay? Dude, oh, seriously. wow. Seriously. Really? Look, so you would like Because I've been party. in that situation, but on the opposite end, I've been surrounded by people who were, who were all single, and that's a nightmare, too. Because they want to just party. I want to party? Yeah. Oh, well. Or you're you're different, maybe you're built different, but but no, there's you you go in that situation, and you're like, okay, I don't, I'm not really lining myself with these people. They want to party and hang out, and you know, go to the club and stuff. But I just want to hang out with my girlfriend. Maybe I, I want friends that also have girlfriends, you know. But you're making her feel more ostracized. No, Tell I'm saying this. it's both sides, both sides. It just means that yeah, maybe you're not, maybe you just don't feel connected to them. And there's other reasons, not just because that. She said she doesn't have the same interests anymore and stuff. Yeah, tell me about your university schools. Yeah, more university friends. Did you? Was there a when you were friends with people in school? It was kind of like oh, we're here, we're friends. It's like camp almost. It's almost set up for you in a way. Mm. Like you're only friends with them because you're kind of at school and stuff and you got to have people to hang out with because everyone wants to be surrounded with some friends. But I know I have literally just like one guy from high school that I like that I hang out with. Like. Mm. Oh, sorry. Are you jealous? (laughs) Um, No, he came to visit in Toronto and that's just like someone I keep in contact with. It's only one person that I do do that with. And then, yeah, everyone else is like, I don't really talk to many people from university. I have like ones that I play video games with, but that's about it. But yeah, and then and then there's you. Like really that you're coming to this age, you're 22, you're you're entering this this time in your life where you got to make some decisions, you know? It's it's hard to you're not necessarily cutting them off, but maybe distancing themselves. Go out and and find yourself, do things for you. People who match up for you. That's what everyone should be doing in their life is doing things for themselves to make themselves comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Don't ruin your your life to kind of cater and make and you're just scared of things shattering and breaking around you, but they won't. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be some big old um bouncing out of this group. Yeah, no, don't announce shopping. it or anything. Yeah. yeah. Stay in there and go shop and it don't hurt nobody to yeah to see what's going on. Hi Martin and Hamza. I messaged you because I need advice on how to stop relying on people so much. I like being in the company of other people just because I hate the feeling of being alone when doing something. Like when I start a new class in school and I have no friends in the class, I freak out and get overly nervous for no reason. Right now, I really want to get a second job because I low-key want more money. But the issue is, I already work alongside one of my close friends, and I don't know what having a job alone will feel like. So I need some help looking at the bright side of things. You guys are awesome. Thank you. What are your favorite characters from The Office? I love that show so much, and I'm curious. I couldn't pick. That's like telling me to pick a child. I love that show. They're also different, too. I love that show so much. Yeah, they are very different. I love that show so much and I will never be ashamed ever. Even when there's this wave of hate of millennials that overconsumed it. Yeah, it's fine. Group me up. I'll <laughs> be there. I'll be there. I think it's the greatest show ever made. So I will not pick Aaron. Anyway. Oh. Mainly because she awakens something in me simultaneously. Mine is. I like Pam. Wow, <laughs> that would maybe be my least if I had to pick. Really? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I think she's very. I think I don't know. Like she's I just like I like her character. I just like her character. That's true. Well, she had some arcs that were mad annoying, but yeah. True. But it's like, but that's what it is. It's like she's. Such, I think she's a great actress. Or any yeah. What yeah, was her? Whatever. What was their issue? What was her issue again? <laughs> um, relying on people. Yeah, in terms of just company and not being able to be alone in situations. Oh, I guess it just comes with time. I don't know. Relying on people. I mean, you got to rely sometimes on people because some people can do things that you can't. But Yeah, um, she was just saying more and co- just wants company and wants someone to talk to wherever she's at. Can't really be in her that's own f- thoughts. That's, that's fine. That's not a negative thing. Yeah, it's not the worst thing ever. That no. should that should get you to push to like, yeah, go, go make friends. That's a good way to put yeah. at it. Instead, go to that new job and... Oh my God, you'll make friends at the new make job. Make a new job. That should be your priority. Yeah. 
that trust me you will make friends at, at job job you'll find that one person that that uh it's like probably the easiest place to make friends because yeah, like you get all in the same yeah, struggle yeah yeah you guys are just struggling together and you yeah. can like bond over that i remember in the deli i everyone was my friend in the deli because no one wanted to work there and, and we're all just the like, same enemies we're all like you see you all just like talk crap about the manager it's really fun so yeah that's probably th- that's the, a good positive outlook you yeah. can have towards yeah. the situation well wow, that's very good Hi ho, hi ho, <laughs> <laughs> hi ho, bye ho. <laughs> Hello, Martin and Hamza, I've, and hopefully Mandy. Well, I hope strong. Mandy's at work. I've been working at a restaurant in a hotel for about a year, and a new guy started working at the hotel about four months ago. Recently, I told I was told that he found me attractive. I'm 17, and he's 46. <laughs> Sorry. I was also n- I was always nice to him and keeping conversation with him, but now that I th- know that he thinks about me, I'm just creeped out. I've tried not to talk to him as much, but he always finds a way to walk to me. He also just stands there looking at me. What should I do? I'm uncomfortable, but I love my job. Also, love you guys so much. Happy Sunday. Girl, talk to a trusted adult. What the hell is going on? Yeah, what in the heck? This is not even like remotely normal or you should put up with it you need to tell yeah that's that. something that like needs to be not shared in the out of character dms you <laughs> shared with the freaking police, police bro <laughs> um yeah that that's yeah that's not okay yeah be super mean to him yeah and just like be st- i mean this is all at work is that what she said yeah okay yeah it's all at work so like yeah like he really like if he tries anything it's easy hr like yeah, yeah. and it might be might be scuffed. You know, some people don't have HR. Is that Not true? Best, but yeah, that's true. But I don't, yeah, go. You got to tell someone. Just so or someone you quit, knows. or you quit. Like find another another job. She says she loves her job. At least tell someone in case like you disappear yeah. or something. They go to him first. Like oh God, for real, for real, for real. Um, awesome. And last one here. Last but not least, always yep. say that. Oh, sorry, sorry. Not least. To Martin and Hamza, I am a fourteen-year-old boy who is straight. And I just want to say that the reason I like you guys so much is that I feel like you guys are living my dream life. Oh, that's so nice. Mm. I'm afraid of speaking to women. So I've already given up on trying to get a girlfriend at 14 is so baller, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to live with my friends, but I don't have anyone who is like me. You guys have the same humor as me. I don't know what that says about us, but also that's great. Um, and I feel like it's so hard to find someone like that in the genera- in this generation. You're speaking like a wise old yeah. man. Yeah. Wow. 14 year old boy, are we sure? Have we aged him? Is yeah. Are we responsible for this lingo? He said, oh, I've already tried. I mean, I call it quits. Can you imagine a 14 year old? He's, re- he's like reincarnated. I like, did, yeah. He, he had a whole life as like a freaking 40 <laughs> year old. Like, dude, this is sick. Bro, you could be our friends. If you live in Toronto, you can come hang with us, man. <laughs> Genuinely, fourteen-year-old. I would hang out with a fourteen-year-old boy who was cool like that. If you that cool, yeah. Who? Uh, no. Okay, fine. This guy seems chill though. Let me see. Nah, nah. It's also just too early to be stressing about this. Like, yeah, take it easy. This is how you find people. You just gotta. You just move through life. People will come to you. Like honestly, you're fourteen. Especially though. if you're as cool as you say you are. Like. That's a, I used to struggle with that. I was a cool ass kid, and I just didn't vibe with people. Yeah, that's that was always me. Uh, when I when I went to camp, I was just with the with the counselors. He, I he's in like he's like level one. This is how I'm thinking of it. He's like in level one. Like he's in he's in school, like early stages of high school. Like you still s- you got so many arcs left in this freaking. If this if your oh, life was so an anime, many. like you got a lot of arcs left. Like you got senior year, Drug you've got addiction. college, you've got job, first job, you've got those are all places to like find cool people that you can hang out with. Um I don't even know like social media too now is like a new avenue of finding people. So like I don't even know. Like you could find like people with, with the same interests on social media. That's how me and Hamza met literally. But also like me and Martin also have our rough stuff as well. We mm-hmm. were very glitz and glam, but we're very normal people in terms of, you know, we're just, we're friends. Yeah. And friends have awky moments. And What's all that. the percentage? What do you think the percentage of how much they know is conveyed through this, through podcasts and such? An news? honest percentage? Yeah. I'd say majority, but not much. Maybe 60, 63%. Yeah. 
There's still like a good chunk of just all the hairy, isolate, scary yeah. stuff. So if you got a friend and they're hairy and scary, well, yeah, don't glamorize us too much. But yeah, we're pretty cool. <laughs> all right. Thanks for listening. See you guys next week. Bye bye.